So I have this great friend from East Africa coming to New Orleans. And he and I are used to wandering around out in the bush, which is far cry from the French Quarter. But irrespective of that, I needed to figure out what to do with him for a day to give him a perspective of the variety of what New Orleans has to offer. Now, he is reasonably fit. So he starts his day with a run every day. Not me, but nonetheless. And so I would recommend to him that he go run along the levee overlooking the Mississippi River, or if he's uptown in Audubon Park. It's just divine here as the sun's coming up and before the heat starts and like that. Breakfast at the district. Magazine Street, donuts and sliders. Now the sliders, you know what a slider is, and a donut, you know what a donut is, time to make the donuts. But you don't know what the district's donuts are until you have taken a bite of one of those Boston creams and the, and the divine. Now, for a little culture, a little history, a little like that, D-Day Museum, Ogden, Confederate Museum, all there together in the warehouse district, followed by lunch at the American sector. John Besh's place is good. Credit where it's due. Go there. In the afternoon, a little more loosey-goosey, right? Come back down to the French Quarter, wander around, go to the galleries, come here to the, my gallery, you know, on the corner of Royal and Pirates Alley, use this as home base, go up and down Royal Street, see the other art that's being made here by the guys on the streets as well as in the galleries, go down to Charter Street, wander around in Jackson Square, and then from that point, go off on one of those great tours. You know, the ghost district tour, the, 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 the cemetery tour, the end of the day. The heat of the day has kind of been cut. It's no longer midday, but it's headed towards night. So if you're talking ghosts, right, you can feel that they're maybe starting to wake a little. And then dinner. And I happen to like Nola uh, as a, you know, for Emerald's place that's just down here. They've got great high Nouvelle Creole cuisine. Delicious, 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 and it's always good, so good. Other people have other restaurant choices, go to those too, but that's a no-miss. Um, and then, end your day where most people begin it, at Café du Monde. Go for coffee and beignets as the last thing you do, not the first. And then go to bed and start it off again. And my buddy, um, by the end of that, I'm sure that he will think that East Africa is not just far away, but maybe, you know, worthy of a wait to go back to, because New Orleans is one of those places that grabs you and it sucks you in, and there might not have any elephants except for in the Audubon Zoo, but nonetheless, it's one of those places it's hard to get away from, like quicksand. <laughs>